Hey everybody, this is your main man here, Tracy G. Jackson, and welcome to Real Talk with Tracy G. Jackson. Okay, so you just heard recently, um, I just read recently um, that um, Joss Whedon said he's going to reboot um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, with a black actress and um, I'm going to share my thoughts on it because um, 20th Century Fox is going to reboot um, Buffy. I saw it on my news feed. Um, so today, this is, welcome to another edition of Real Talk with Tracy G, which is your main man, Tracy G. Jackson. Okay, so um, this is, so, however, so I just heard that um, 20th Century Fox is rebooting Buffy the Vampire Slayer yet again. Buffy is in there. And um, as you see, I'm wearing my Team Buffy t-shirt. Um, because... And... Um, so, but to tell you the truth, they've been trying to... This is nothing new. Okay? They've been trying to reboot Buffy the Vampire Slayer since 2010. When they decided to um, have when Warner Brothers Entertainment decided they wanted to reboot Buffy the Vampire Slayer with a different actress. Um, there are many actresses considered. Um, Diana Argon Agron was considered for the role of Buffy. And then... But um, they never came to terms. Um, but now, this time, they're trying to reboot um, Buffy with a black lead actress. Now... Um, don't get offended. Um, this is my opinion, and I know I'm probably going to get some ugly comments on this section, but being called the C-word coon, a, a sellout, and a traitor to my race, which is nothing new. I've been called every name out of the book my whole entire life. But I honestly do not see um, a black actress playing the role of Buffy. And the reason why I don't see it is because um, Buffy was created by Joss Whedon as a response and that Buffy was blonde, okay? It was, he created it as based, Buffy's, the character, it was based off every blonde girl in every slasher movie, horror movie that gets killed and he always felt bad for him. So he decided to make it empowering. And about 26 years ago, in the summer of 1992, that was like, July of 92, after I was born, um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer hit theaters. Um, it starred Kirstie Swanson as Buffy Summers. Um, Luke Perry played Oliver Pike, and Ruff, Ruff Gerhar, uh, Blade Runner fame, played, um, Lothos. And a lot of people did not like it. Some people did, but, um, if it wasn't, um, Joss did not like how they... So, um, he didn't even consider it canon, um, and watching it later, I don't even consider the Buffy movie canon. But it wasn't until, like, not, so we didn't, um, decide to put Buffy aside and work on other projects, like, um, Toy Story, and, which he was nominated for an Oscar for. So, it wasn't until late 95, early 96, that, um, that, um, Gail Berman had, um, wanted to um bring back our heroine bring back the blonde and so um that's how um and so um and I watched and I watched eat um I watched the uh Buffy Vampire Slayer A A and E biography episode. Now um for those who don't know I read the book um season finales the the unexpected rise and fall of the WB and UPN okay I read it, um, and originally, prior to, um, Warner Brothers Television wanted to produce the series, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, when the WB came around, but it was due to a lawsuit that they would face a lawsuit if 20th Century Fox Television didn't produce it or not, um, sorry about the bad, but yeah, um, one, but 20, so, Gail Berman, they decided, um, so, um, Sarah Michelle Gillard was like the first one. She auditioned, 
Um, she auditioned, um, but and there was other actresses considered for the role of Buffy before Sarah got the role. Um, Charisma Carpenter, she came in and auditioned for Buffy and overalls, leather jacket, and flip flops. Julie Benz, who played Darla, was uh, was considered, and Mercedes McNabb, who played Harmony Kendall, was considered, and Elizabeth Ann Allen was considered to play uh, Buffy. Um, both got ended up getting different roles. Mercedes ended up playing Harmony Kendall. Um, Julie played Darla. And Julia Lee played Anne. She was considered for Buffy. Um, Katie Holmes was considered to play Buffy, but she was turned down because she was too young. About a year later, Katie Holmes got the role of, of Joey in Dawson's Creek. So... Sarah Michelle Gillard auditioned several times for Buffy. She was originally cast as Cordelia Chase before and um but when she she won the role of Cordelia, but she didn't they they still haven't found a Buffy. So she had auditioned several times before uh she got on got the role of Buffy. Chris Carpenter ended up getting Cordelia and um so and so um Allison had a good audition, but um, another actress got Willow. On top of that, Allison was doing a pilot with Holly Marie Combs, who just finished um, her run on Picket Fences, um, and Tangie Miller, who would later go on to be on Felicity. She They did a pilot called Friends for Life. That pilot did not get picked up. And so Nicholas Brandon got the role of Xander because, number one, he had just lost his job, and he was... Um, due to not bringing the wrong pop tart, wrong pop tart to work, um, his girlfriend left him, and um, that's how. And, he, and on top of that, Nicholas Brandy used acting as a way to um, cope with his stuttering problem, and so, um, so um, some people say that Ryan Reynolds got considered for Xander. Sarah Michelle Gillis said it was a rumor. It remains a mystery to me. But I do know this. Riff Regan ended up playing Rillo in the original pilot. The original pilot was shot in May of 96. And um, shortly after the pilot was filmed. Um, the, the pilot was filmed. It was 25 minutes. The pilot's on YouTube. And um, so um, prior to a lot of net, the big four networks um, rejected it. Um, ABC, NBC. And CBS. Despite the fact that 20th Century Fox Television produced the show, Fox Network turned it down. Um, but Warner Brothers Upstart Network, the WB, um, gave it a shot. And so, um, because at the time, the WB was not well known because it had just launched January 1st, 11, 1995. And it was um, founded by Warner Brothers Entertainment and Tribune Broadcasting. They didn't have that much of a stylish audience, so they didn't have it wasn't available at home yet, and then on top of that it was more mostly comics. So they gave the WB that WB picked them up, but um after they done the pilot in May, they um they took it to the networks, but um seven haven't got picked up for the fall nineteen ninety six season. Luckily in August ninety six, the WB um told uh ordered twelve episodes of Buffy the Sp- debut in the spring of 97 but they wanted to recast Willow with the role we know as Allison Hannigan. David Boreanaz was cast as Angel and was already cast. Nathan Fillion who later played Kayla in the final season auditioned for Angel but David was discovered by walking his dog and um sorry about that um so um it premiered um but yeah it, it really Looking when it premiered, um, it didn't have nobody knew what to expect of it, but it so that's why most seven seven seasons in a hundred and forty four episodes has the show has an impact, and um, when it moved to UPN in the fall of two thousand one, um, it started um off network syndication on various stations particularly Fox affiliates, UPN affiliates, WB, 
and some some independent stations as well as some ABC affiliates. Um, the thing, um, and so um, that's and then about after uh, and the show Buffy was in about female empowerment and it put the WB on the map. It paved the way for other shows on the WB like Dawson's Creek, Felicity, Charmed. List goes on and on. So I don't see why would you want to reboot something with a different actress. And it has nothing to do with color. So I do not need any other nasty comments to be calling me a sellout. I don't want to hear it. I, I just think I, and the five, on top of that, Buffy has the Vampire Slayer has a cult following 24, 21 years later after the show ended its seventh season of 144 episode run. And long, not on top of that, um, when the WB aired its final night of programming, they aired the first episode, Welcome to the Hellmouth, The Harvest, along with the spinoff Angel's first episode, Felicity's first episode, and Dawson's Creek. And it was the first it aired, even at three years after it it ended its seven year seven season run, the WB aired it on its final night of programming. And so, um, even after it's been syndicated since the fall of two thousand one, DVDs has been released. Well, well, the first box VHS box set was released in the fall of ninety eight, but it only contained. Six episodes from the first season. Six selected episodes with um, interview with Joss Whedon. Um, it was released in the U.S. and Canada. Um, those two episodes were Welcome to the Helm Out the Harvest, which Never Kill a Boy on the First Date, and Angel and the Puppet Show. Then around 99, the Buffy Angels uh, Chronicles box set was released. Um, at the same time, in the U- U.K., the first season was released on video cassette outside of America. That 20th Century Fox released all seven seasons of Buffy on video cassette and five seasons of Angel on video cassette. They were the, the United Kingdom and Australia were the first ones to release Buffy on DVD before the U.S. And re and not long ago, um, when uh, Buffy was airing on Pivot, um, they had remastered all seven seasons in HD. And so, um, not people did not like it. I didn't like it at first, but the reason why I'm talking about it is because you cannot reboot something that's more. I would rather have a continuing reboot. I would rather have a, a continuation revival like they did with Roseanne before she, uh, ran, ran her mouth on Twitter and got it canceled. Or like Gilmore Girls. Or like the X Files, something like that, with the original cast minus David. I would probably have somebody else play Angel, probably Kenny Johnson or Judson Mills or Eddie Sabirin. Hell, even Eddie McClintock or Adam Baldwin could play Angel. I just don't want. I just don't see why David would not want anything to do with the role that got him to where he is today. But um, I'm probably going to make a part two about this. Uh, but other than that, rate, comment, subscribe. Love y'all. About to do a live video. Um, and I'll talk to y'all later.